गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है पैसा बोलता है मैं फिर से आपका स्वागत है मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन आज मेरे साथ मेरे भाई विनोद श्रीनिवासन हैं फिर से हॉट टेक के साथ आए हैं उनके पास आज की इकनॉमिक टाइम्स है अब मैं अभी तक पढ़ा नहीं लेकिन जो उसमें न्यूज़ है उनके बारे में उनमें उन, मुझसे प्रश्न पूछेंगे मैं जवाब दूंगा ये तो अंग्रेजी में होगा लेकिन आप सुन सकते हो विनोद Arcs want high net worth individuals in stressed asset market. Indian stressed asset players are lobbying for opening the market for rich individual investors. Believe that they have the stomach for high risk reward bets. They're insisting to banks are more and more banks are being insisting on being paid cash for sticky loans they sell. A direct entry of high net worth will increase the fund flow into the market and asset reconstruction companies, the prime buyers of NPA from banks. Basically, what asset reconstruction companies are saying allow us to create instruments, either bonds or deposits or even equity or quasi instruments through which HNIs can invest and buy stressed assets of public sector banks, especially. And these banks have a lot of. Uh, stressed assets which have some value before what hap used to happen is arcs used to pay a token advance to the bank take over the asset and then sell them and then collect the money or turn them around and collect the money but now what banks are saying is we want cash up front because the public sector banks are struggling for capital adequacy ratio so they want cash up front and since they want cash up front arcs are not able to do many deals so they are telling the finance ministry you allow rich investors through instruments to invest and they in turn will take over the key loans sounds like 2008 chapsui torrent leans on cvc to join hands with cipla torrent farmers in advanced talks with cvc capital partners to form a consortium to raise at least 1.2 to 1.5 billion dollars from the european buyout fund as Ahmedabad based conglomerate is trying to put together 60,000 that's 7 billion dollars acquisition finance package. See, Torrent is a much smaller company than Sipla and they think that by and it has complementary products. So they think by buying Sipla they will go into the big league and they have the capacity to run and turn around the company, they don't have the capital. The promoters of Sipla have 33% stake. So if you buy 33% at a very high price, rest assured 25% uh, shareholders will also give up the money. So you have to buy 60% of the company. For that you need 6-7 billion dollars. So it is not possible for one company to buy it, Torrent definitely to buy it. So they are looking at scouting around for uh, buyout firms and other people who will give them money. Originally Blackstone was supposed to be the partner. They offered 900 which the family has obviously refused. They are asking for 1300, 1350. Yes. And the market believes that that's why it's trading at 1200, 1250. The real value of supply is about 900 to 1000. So they want a premium. So Torrent is trying its best to match that premium, match that premium by scouting for partners. Finding partners is very difficult because Cipla has chosen the wrong time to exit because there is a funding winter and interest rates are high. And uh, even if what my reading of the tea leaves in US inflation says that even if they skip this time, they cannot skip forever. You need a hike or two more to crush inflation in America. So definitely funding for these companies is going to be difficult and therefore this is why this valuation problem is existing and what Cipla promoters are asking for is a fancy price. Tata Chief makes profitable e-com growth a priority. A specialist team to take up Tata digital target. Client acquisition, marketing costs slashed. Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandrasekhar has mandated top leaders of the group digital arm to urgently focus on profitable growth as the unit prepares for revisit plans for external funding. People directly aware of recent discussions told ET. Following several changes, the super app new and market uh, blitz during the two editions of the IPL, the group has set up a separate core team of specialists within Tata Digital to strengthen then financials and drive push forward profitability they've added. So he's saying enough of doing MAFA, Bas let's see some numbers. It is uh, Chandrasekhar's project. Yes. The rest of the Tata group is what he inherited. Yes. Tata Digital is what Chandrasekhar launched. So Chandrasekhar's legacy is going to be judged by how this Tata Digital goes. Hmm. 
and he has bought a lot of companies. Yes. He has bought a big basket, one MG, Cultfield. I think Cultfield also they have bought. I'm not sure. Hmm. But they have bought a lot of companies. And uh, Neol Tata himself has made Trent a very successful retail brand, especially West Side. Correct. So the problem when some people spoke to me from Tata Digital is that there is no cohesion among the groups. Each fellow is running a separate silo. silo. Titan will not cooperate with Tata Digital and uh, yes. will not, Tata Motors will not cooperate with them. Yes. Tata Consumer is not cooperating with them. Yes. So and there is no seamless integration, integration because each guy wants his importance. Yeah. I'll give you an anecdote which one guy insider who spoke to me told me. The CEO, there is a CEO and MD and there is a chief marketing strategist. The chief marketing strategist name ends with Tata. Hmm. And she's the niece of the old man. Hmm. Okay, we won't say which one. She is the niece of the old man. Hmm. About one year back, she was there. Hmm. And she was the chief marketing or some strategist. There's an MD above her. Hmm. MD would write to a Tata Group company and he would never get a response. It would take two days for him to respond. Madam would write and within one hour, there would be a response. So, this is the problem. Yes, same complaints people have about me in any of the YouTube platforms we are running here, that I have too much access to Anand Srinivasan. <laughs> what to do? I'm his brother, so advantages are advantages. Huge savings at Port Talbot for Tata Steel Anand. They have switched over uh, to electric furnace, three metric ton electric furnace, and it's brought down their cost from 150 pounds per ton, which is a huge savings. You see a shift because of gas problems. No, 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 no. Hmm. Port Talbot was the last blast furnace in UK. UK. Yes. Now this was they were struggling. Hmm. Chorus. They bought Chorus. Yes. So Tatas were trying to get out of that uh, problem. Hmm. The Dutch portion of it has become profitable. Hmm. So this Port Talbot is not profitable. How much ever they have tried, they de-risk the pension about one year back hmm. or six months back by this quarter hmm. by setting off a big amount of money. Hmm. So they have been lobbying with the British government. Hmm. To saying that if you don't give us money, grant, hmm. we want to shut it down or sell it as scrap. Hmm. And uh, the British government in an election year wants to keep people happy. Hmm. So they ask, they are giving 500 billion. Hmm. Tatas are putting 750 million pounds hmm. and they are doing 1.25 billion pounds hmm. to turn it around. Hmm. And this 500 million is a grant. Hmm. But even then people are scared hmm. because if they shift from a blast furnace to an electric arc furnace, hmm. 3,000 people will lose their jobs. Local mutual funds go big on equities. Hmm. Domestic mutual funds are raising bets on equities at a fast pace in the past 15 months as market scales fresh peaks. Their share of institutional equity portfolio have surged to record highs. What do you think? Uh, the, the, let me tell you this two, three things. Hmm. Last one year, FIIs inflows are nothing much to write home about. Last 15 days, FIIs are selling. In the month of August, the maximum amount of derivatives tradings have been done by retail investors. I remember what Buffett told me. What fools do last, why spend do first. Very true. Experts want of subdued nominal growth. See growth at the last, at least a percentage point below. It says target to be a 5 trillion economy may be pushed by another year. I'm sorry I baited you, but it was there. It is there. So the problem is, there has been a lot of articles written on nominal growth and real growth. The chief economic advisor and the finance minister want to believe, want us to believe that 0.2% is the inflation and inflation is well in control and tomatoes never went to 300 rupees. So, in, and there is no inflation in India. That's why you had an 8% nominal growth and a 7.8% real growth. It so happened there was a G20 event there. And that we had to say. So what is happening is the real uh, and there was an article in Money Control, which is a government's favorite company's channel, Correct. which is also saying growth of manufacturing, especially since PCs, cloths, shoeware, footwear, everything is dropping. Basically, our economy is struggling and we'll be growing, in my opinion, between four to five percent. And that is what they are also saying. And if you grow at 4 to 5 percent, the statistics is very clear. Maths is maths. Maths is maths. You, you can't do anything with maths. Yeah. 
So your 3.25 trillion to 5 trillion will get pushed back by one or two years, definitely. That's what is being said. And they're worried if they're not in power at that time, they cannot claim their banner. It doesn't make a sense. It's only a number. What matters is per capita income. And this will really hurt per capita income more than the... Well said. Yeah. Thank you for watching Paisa Bolta Hai. You have इस पॉडकास्ट में उपस्थित हुए इसके लिए मैं आपका आभारी हूं धन्यवाद नमस्कार जय हिंद